the meaning of the original philosophy is very broad, the definition of philosophy is only rational, logically, it seems that there were many religious stories in old philosophy, in current scholarship, the answer is God, or the truth of the universe. I don't say that. That's because some people have overturned the history of philosophy over 2000 years. That is Immanuel Kant. I think it is easy to understand that this Kant era is the era of the Industrial Revolution. To explain Immanuel Kant's claim. There may be a God. There may be a soul in a posthumous world. This world may be a dream or a virtual reality. You may know it when you die, or you may not know it when you die. So it's okay to have a discussion, but no answer. Let's suppose this is a superdimensional problem. On the other hand, many humans can only know the information that comes from the five senses. Because we judge things mainly by information from our eyes and ears that is a common understanding, and it is natural to have discussions within it. Therefore he says not to mix this with superdimensional problems. The superdimension is a story that many humans do not know the answer to. He says it's not controversial. In modern times, this superdimension is called alien, supernatural power, or conspiracy theory. Whether this is the case is a subtle story, the question is whether there is evidence or evidence. If this is completely missing or missing, it is the same as the superdimensional story. If you mix this with a story of common understanding, it will not be a discussion. Next, it can be said that it is a matter of human will, an inner matter, and a subjective matter. In other words how you feel and what you think is your own problem, not necessarily others. In addition, it is difficult to convey this with the five senses, which is a common understanding. So, the story that this individual thought and feel he says don't mix it up in the discussion. But, if there are numbers that many people think or feel as data, the data is about the five senses, so there is no problem. Let's illustrate it. The yellow part is a superdimensional story. The blue part is the range that can be spoken with the five senses, which is a common recognition. And the red part is the story of the individual who is the inside and the subjectivity. These are all philosophical to the extent that they speak reasonably and logically, let's discuss it separately. Since Aristoteles, science has evolved, and what you call academics and discussions is it points to this blue part. That's right. Much of this blue part was originally a philosophy, now it is possible to speak as an academic discipline. And much of what is now called philosophy has become a superdimensional story of this yellow part. Now, apply what you just talked to YouTubers. God, aliens, Gaia, talking about it mainly if you're talking a bit about the general public, it's a superdimensional story as a genre, so there's no problem. That is, for example, YouTuber I'm a god and an alien even if I say that I am connected to God, alien, and Gaia. If you're mainly talking about that genre, there's no problem. That's it, it's just classified as religion or spiritual. But tentatively YouTuber that it is this superdimension itself or that it is connected to the superdimension, the presidential election, China, what if you say that global warming is, the answer is, God is saying the work of aliens Gaia is angry don't you call this a cult? The first condition of the cult is to call yourself a special and unfamiliar person. In other words, it is a guru. If this person mainly talks about religions, then new religions or, it's a religious philosophy, so there's no problem. Mix it with this blue part, if you make a bad statement about the general public, you will immediately become a cult. That's what it is. For example, from a philosophical point of view looking at how to use an adult's head, isn't it like this? And I will omit the central part without talking. 1 plus 1 equals 2 is a rudimentary and troublesome thing to talk about. In addition it is natural for a smart person to explain to a stupid person in an easy to understand manner. Some idiots say it's a right to demand it, but that's not the case. For example, it is an objective fact that doctors are saving the lives of others, for stupid people especially on the internet, a doctor said, I am saving the lives of others. The person should not answer many times. This is because the doctor's spirit shifts as he answers many times. If you start to shift I'm saving the lives of others I'm holding the lives of others I'll save the lives, so pay and so on, it shifts more and more. The rudimentary things should be left to the responsible parent or teacher who specializes in teaching. Even when I grow up, I still have a sweetheart. Also, I will not talk about stories that are too far from the center unless they are experts. No matter how common the five senses are, this blue part few people cover it. So, in front of a lot of people and on YouTube I will try to talk by dropping it in this dark blue part. For children, emotions are prioritized, so it looks like this. And science is like this. 
make a hypothesis after stacking up. At this point, it's still close to my belief, it's not just a belief that you think because of the accumulation. And I will test this hypothesis, if the verification is successful, it will be announced in the media immediately, it will be reported that it has been confirmed. Scientists also want it because it increases their budget, there is no omission in the verification method, and the same result is not obtained in different people and different places, so I'm not really sure. It's just such a mechanism, so it's often wrong, but after repeated verification, it will be confirmed and become the blue part. This is also true for the universe. By accumulating hypotheses and verifications, we can understand that there is no problem the range of this blue part has been expanded and it has come to be conveyed as a common recognition. Doctors and craftsmen also belong here, but they are not the ones who basically spread the blue part. Reduce mistakes through deep medical knowledge and repeated practice. Then, the inner world, the world of emotions and subjectivity, psychology, psychiatry, etc., but even in the days of Sigmund Freud it looks like this figure. In other words, early psychology and psychiatry it belongs to prying and branding and is almost incorrect. What is important in this era is that it brings a scientific perspective. And now it looks like this. This is a stack of conditions and data, and many of each event as it has the advantage of 60% to 80%. Like the how to book, the answer that asserts one answer for one event is wrong. I understand that this is easier to understand and better, but the original usage is to improve the accuracy by repeating the events. By doing this, it is possible to discuss the blue part as a common recognition. So what about YouTuber in this figure? First of all, isn't the start paranoid because it stands out in the title? Still, I think that there is no problem if the video content is summarized in a realistic and objective story. For those who start with megalomaniac and describe reality as bad and terrible, the answer is paranoid again. I think it's a cult. Next, let's look at it from the individual side. The first is the thinking of smart adults. It is composed only of objectives, and subjective is pushed aside. The reason for this kind of thinking is for example even if you have the subjectivity of wanting to be famous as a scientist or to be rich your subjectivity has nothing to do with scientific phenomena. For example even if you have the subjectivity or desire to be rich as an investor it doesn't matter what you think about world and social movements and market price movements. As you can see by taking only this example, by accumulating knowledge and practice, the inner side of subjectivity and emotions will naturally be pushed aside. If you are a little smart, you will notice this from your school days. And because this focuses on what is right suitable for discussion. However, on YouTube, there is a drawback that it is difficult to evoke emotional empathy. The method of appealing to the emotions of others is quick. Next, this seems to be the most common type, although the focus is on subjective assertions, while self-analyzing from an objective point of view, it is a pattern that keeps logical thinking. I always check if my thoughts are logically broken. Of course, this type is also controversial. It is also common on social media. It is a type that focuses on subjective and emotional theory and is armed with theory. This type emphasizes its own subjectivity and assertion, logic failure is not a problem. In other words, because they try to force themselves through, they may quibble or irrelevant claims. Also, I can't see it objectively, I only see what I want to see, and I only believe what I want to believe. It has a very narrow field of view, and it is also characteristic that you can often see boomerangs of words and actions. And finally, the type of lying habit. This type also focuses on subjective and emotional theory and emphasizes it, in order to insist on this, I will easily develop a delusion. You can easily say God, Alien, and Gaia. It expresses the real world, the powerful, and the rich as very bad things, and also develops conspiracy theory. These people see the real world twisted by their lies, even the interpretation of words such as words is twisted. That's right. It's a pity that you can bend to reality for your own convenience. This also has a narrow field of view and lacks objectivity, so you can see the characteristic of boomerang of words and actions. On the contrary, I don't immediately blame the other person for remorse. In other words, a liar is it is a developmental disorder that does not grow mentally because it keeps lying from an early age and does not reflect on it. It's very annoying because I'm used to lying and blaming the other person. You probably won't get caught up in this YouTuber lodge, watching videos and live shows is a one-way street, and it entwines emotional theory well and invites empathy. Please be careful. Even though smart people are mainly looking at things from an objective point of view, since large is also small, it is naturally possible to switch viewpoints. 
The last two types of YouTubers are crazy people and power and rich people are often described as terrible people. The reason is simple. Because our field of view is narrow and we cannot be objective it's a boomerang that has the image that it would be terrible if we had the power and money as our desires went. That's right. It's the same as saying that we are terrible people. There aren't always powerful people or rich people on the extension of ourselves, this YouTuber has a narrow field of view, so I don't know it. In the summary of this story, large is also small, but you should not do small easily. Many go out for wool and come home short. And small is not big. Many harmful YouTubers are boomerangs. Liar YouTubers quickly blame others. It's like that. By the way, as for the answer from the previous video, the topic of concern is to look closer to the source. There are times when the source was originally a lie, the number of cases of being deceived by lies is expected to decrease dramatically. こんにちは、バイレントです。今回の話にダニング・クルーガー効果というのを加えて考えると、いかに社会がバカに害されているのかがわかります。ちなみに俺は元医療福祉関係者ですので、バカを差別しているんじゃありません。努力しない開き直ったバカを非難しているだけです。それに頭のいい人が常に正しいとも思っていません。誤解なきようにお願いします。俺が YouTuber をやっているのは、こういうバカの YouTube チャンネルにコメントしてしまったからなのです。それは約3年前になりますかね。そしてこれが私の SNS 上での初めてのコメントでした。そして YouTube 上のも,もめごとに巻き込まれました。そして被害者たちが集まったチャンネルに誘われて、そこでバカのチャンネルはね、国から反社会勢力に指定された暴走族の一人であり、61歳なんですけど、その人物が自身を天才と名乗り、カルトをやっているチャンネルだと分かりました。そう、自分のことをね、天才と言ってるんですよ。アホでしょ。ね、ですから、覚悟を決めて YouTube に取り組まなければいけなくなったのです。その話は機会があれば、今後このチャンネルでも話すかもしれません。それではまた。